and welcome back if uh, to Modern Skyblock 2. If you didn't notice, I'm still in the same position, just about to change over to the treated wood sticks. I want three of them, so that is done. And I have, I need the pattern head. I need the shovel head. Actually, I don't really need these. The axe probably would be the better one. Um, and that's it. Um, yeah. So... Uh, we need to... Make... <coughs> uh, not copper, but bronze. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Uh... Uh, okay, uh, don't have any bronze, so copper here. Uh, it's bronze is what? Molten copper and tin. So if we go nine of them and three. We will need to go doink, turn up, oh, that's alright. So, oh, and I need to dump the gold in too. So, the gold in. Um, I think I'll grab a faucet for this. Because I don't want to really have to sit there and wait to fix it all. I really should just leave my spanner out, the amount of times I use it. Okay, so first of all, put my pickaxe down there. And change to gold. That has been poured. Change back to... Hmm. Terrible. But the good thing is, at least it's really quick. So bronze for this there's the bronze pattern done so we can put you in there and then the binding and the bronze This will just give me the little heads up on making these. So, there we go. This will be my new set for ages because you don't really need any other th anything else. Always name it Wayno's Picker. I know I spell it wrong, but I do it as a funny thing. I don't have a shovel. I do have. Oh, actually, I need one for the axe. Okay, I won't need any of that for the next. But I will make myself a insane sword and bow and stuff like that. But I just wanted to make this for now. So let's see. I still cannot do it. Why not? Diamond level. Hmm. Well, then what makes obsidian level? I thought diamond did obsidian. Do you right? It's obsidian. Mining level. So I just made one and it's not worth it. I thought diamond did obsidian. Um, unless I looked at the wrong one. Copper is iron. Awakened. Pig iron. Where 
where did the bronze one go? There. There, it's diamond. Okay. I wonder if I put a diamond on it and it out does that still upgrade it to the next level? To mine. Mining level obsidian. Mining level obsidian. So that will work. I don't mind doing that way. Yes. There we go. Huh. Okay, so obsidian has its own mining level. Now these rocks give you different stuff, but meh. And you can go like this you get the bigger rock. So, and that's a floating crystal. Okay, so now we need to expand. Okay, that is more amusement than I would expect. I was like, what the hell is that? And it's an owl. It is an owl and the damn thing flies. Well, of course it flies, it's a bird. But seriously, that is awesome. So you must have spawned in here. But that's cool. That that I'm, I'm quite enjoying this. But yeah, that's awesome. So let's grab some of this. Um, I really need to move this setup. I actually might do that between episodes. So, um, yeah, between episodes I will actually move all of this because um, um, yeah it, it needs to be done that, that's the because it needs to be moved over there so I will actually get it done between episodes oops wrong one so in between episodes I will move this and move this I'll, d I'll destroy all this down and move it up to here I'll move that up to there because then this will give me the lava at this end and I can join these two up so it produces lava um, yeah so that will be done and I'll probably end up moving this setup in the future because it, it yeah to be pushed back more this yeah I think I might actually set it up behind here permanently so, because I need more room considering, I'll probably end up moving this to over this side, because over here I will want, do I have enough room? I do. So I'll want um, a, uh, a embers room, um, immersive engineering can actually stay underneath, a carpenter room, because all it will have to be, all, all of it will be automated as well, so there will be cabling running everywhere, but at the moment, yeah, so we've got the, this will probably be AA in Endar's room, uh, not Endar's, um, extra utilities too, so they've already got some stuff in here, so yeah, but anyway, we need to continue on with getting this stuff done for the guide. Uh, empowering to make it, you need 10 KRF, you need to make a floating crystal and a linking tool. Okay, so a linking tool. there is our linking tool and we'll just go make another one of these because you need two of them and you need a crafting table and and in the funny funny out of all of it you will need to use this to actually produce um, uh, so, uh, the iron blocks so I'll need to make some more iron and more stone and some other funky stuff and I'll show you what I'll do because I'll make it easier because some people go you need a redstone on it and I'm like yep of course you need a redstone on it to turn it off but I don't really want to so I am just going to dry the liquids out of it and then break the nether block. See, 
break this, you just insert it straight in here, let it do its thing, and keep rinse and repeat. So, you scared the crap out of me! But that was awesome. So, um, I really should make a, a wand. I really would like to make a diamond wand, but unfortunately... Did you guys, look, it's up there! Ha, oh, that's awesome! The little bath plugs are getting out everywhere! Ah, oh, that's, that's just making my day. And there is my wand. Oh, I'll grab some more. Okay. As I need more room. Usually I, I don't build out this far, but with this mod pack it seems to be more and more. Usually I go up into a second story, like I'll build up and there'll be another story up there, but this one I've changed my tactics a little by changing where I build things. I've always had my power and all my other stuff underneath, but I've never really, um, yeah, made a big base because you can actually, in this map, you can only have so many chunks loaded. So I'm actually getting quite far within my chunks. I don't actually have all my chunks loaded, so, because I keep forgetting to do it. But that's all of them there. So there, and see I've got 25 left. So usually I do an area and then I build up or down and then it's just easier. I don't know, I've just always done it that way. But this one I've actually expanded quite bigger than I usually do. I usually only end up using, like if I started here, I probably would only end up using about this much, like a nine by nine or whatever, three by three, sorry. And then I'd build up and down so it's all in one chunk area. But for this one I've actually made it a lot bigger because you have so many machines and these things and yeah so I'm enjoying myself from it so um, I'll just put it here and you there and then you there and then you there and then this is uh, you need the linking tool there to there and now that is an, an enlightened crafting table. So, yeah. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Connect the floating crystal. To, yeah, I know how to do that. You need to progress in the dust. Yes. There's much to search for. You need to make a journal. Um, I I haven't really gotten into astral sorcery. Um, you need some aquamarines. You need a parchment, which is another aquamarine, and a book. And I know I can make all them. So I will make one and have a show you the book quickly if you have not seen Astral Sorcery and you need to get the Aquamarine from here so hopefully four is enough so uh, two of them and some paper and we only need one book don't we so and we need to do this actually out here I reckon when you link this, this should change a crafting table to its own uh, crafting table so it looks different and then it's permanently done that or something so um, and then three with a book so and apparently it's oh no that's the no it's still luminous crafting table oh See, there we go. Now this is the book. This is this is what it looks like. You have one here, then one over here, and I think there's like four plates that you need to uncover. This will tell you how to do things. Um, so ancient shards, so resonating wand, marble, luminous crafting table. So I don't know why that's it. These are in here because they actually. Uh, yeah, it tells you in there some stuff. I've never actually read the damn book. So, and probably we never will. Um, you need them to make stuff, and then you need to make a own little shrine and all this other stuff. 
Um, there are other parchments in Astral Sorcery. So these are here, so, uh, all these different ones. Um, I actually don't know what those are. But there are different types and there are more advanced floating crystals by the look of it. They all have their own different powers. I think they have different levels of power. And I'm guessing you need to learn them. You can actually make liquid starlight with lava to make constant sand, which I don't even know why you would. Uh, let's see, this is what we're after, actual star metal. So this is really easy to make once you know how to do it. You get a block of iron, put it down, link it together and bam. And to do that, uh, okay, you need a stone and an iron alchemy thingy afterwards. Look at my... So I think I might put a chest out here for all this, a storage crate. See, I don't know why that's still going. That shouldn't take that long to pick up and empty. So... But we'll put this out here because there is some crap that you actually need to learn from this. So all these can go in. Uh, I clicked on the crafting table. Well done, Wayno. Well done indeed. So... Linking one can go out there because I probably never use it. Other than when I'm here, actually, I, I actually still need the linking wand. Okay, so now now I will show you. We actually need another meat stick and I don't think I no I, I have actually some there. This will make enough. So, still got 50, so that's fine. Uh, we need. I'll grab some of them. Do I have any copper? Okay, this will do. So, what you do, right? The easiest way I worked out is you break this. Okay. <laughs> yes, you break that. But. You make sure you don't make a mess, like I did. So put that back. Hopefully this will fix my issue. God damn it, I can't believe I did that again. I always manage to do that with that, it's just... Ah, you whack that in there, and since copper goes nicely, this will drain these tanks and you're out now so you can get rid of that and it'll have a little bit left over but who cares about that right see it's clear come back around here done and 31 of them that's good enough you put this in here and then you do this. Right, and that will process it. See? Iron ore. So you can double your ore this way, I think. Yeah, because you got one out of. Oh no, I don't actually know. I think you got one out of one in this. So basically a mechanical user here with a stack of these, the same amount what's in here, and you'll get heaps of iron ore. You don't really need many, and you might be able to duplicate it in a way, I don't know. You may want to test it, you could find out. Um, but swapping between all of them, I don't know if the smeltery actually duplicates your ores, I actually might try it. Because if that does then it will be a better way than the way that we're doing it now. So put one in here. So we should get either one ingot or we will get more. So it's still not cooked. So this could be a better way in the future. So you don't have to do glass. You could just do cooking up stone, which is easy. And it automatically does that. So, And then all you need to do is deal with this. Um, I don't know how copper will go by making it. 
Um, I'm assuming it will do the same, it will just be without the other stuff. And then you can automate it being taken out, put in the smeltery, and vice versa. You would have to move this up there, which shouldn't be too hard. So, oh, here we go. Oops, that chewed it already. We'll find out when it um, pours it out. I forgot I had that running. So there's one, two. So it did double it. So this actually is a better way of doubling your ores even more. So we could technically stuff off all this, as you don't need the glass. Um, you could technically do it this way. I'm assuming you could do that with all of it. Uh, let's have a quick squizzy. Huh. I went through all of them and it didn't show it. But it does work, see? So, uh, all of it. So, technically, we could get rid of all of this. And you can just have a mechanical user sitting there on top of that and just pumping straight in. Just, just blocks. Just every... and bam. Easy done. Melting it down. So, or not melting, yeah. So, you don't have to worry about glass. So, we, I think I'm when I might move this because technically I've got 26 iron ore. I can use it to either melt it or I can turn it into star metal. So, because if you look at um, star, here you go, star here. So, you convert it this way. if I can hit you. So here you go, you can do all this. So in the star infusion under that, sand into clay. I did not know that. That it will make my life easier in clay instead of having to do it the other way. I can do diamond ore. Um, huh, how would I get diamond ore? Yeah, see, so you would have to get it through the void miner. So um, nether brick into soul stand, nether wart block into soul stand. You can get sea lantern to lapis. You can get sandstone into endstone. There's our endstone, boys and girls. Look at that. Um, this is using the lens that I'm looking up, so I don't actually know what the lens does. You can do nether rack into nether brick. And yeah, so, ooh, pumpkin straight into a cake. Nice. So I think it might be time to change the way that we work on here because we're doubling our ores now through this way so technically I know I got heaps of ores and it's easy to do but it will, it, this is giving us two ores once we put it through the smeltery um, the only thing is we'll still have to use lava so and we've got plenty of lava here this is oops don't want to waste these so yeah so we, we found another way I knew we could do it but I didn't think it would duplicate our ores so now we can double our ores quite nicely without a problem but we need to make star metal so we want to make star metal into these bad boys so because this will make a few other bits and pieces not really that much so I mean, to make a Prims lens, I don't even know what that's for. I don't know any what this is for. I haven't actually spent my time in it. But we'll be making Empowered Palace Crystal. Now, the Empowered Palace Crystal, once again, is not actually used much. I don't even know what a Chance Cube is. It's used for Advanced Electronics, which is probably the only thing that we will be using. But Machine Frames as well. So, yeah. Oh, and to make the 450 talus. Interesting. Did he change how to make these? If he has, oh my god. It used to be lapis. Nice and simple. And oh, I am so glad that I had this beforehand. This sucks now. He's just made this just way too difficult. Because you'll be using the older one. the This one here. To make it. And this sucks. This really does. He's just pushed that that whole entire way of doing that back to to get this stuff. 450 yield. That is oh, oops. That is just 
that just sucks how he, he's done that. Um, the good thing is with this you can just plant three. Ah, I had to change one because that's just really bothersome. So with this done like that. These three blocks here even the air once I remove them will always be the same so I can do mechanical users here as well and just get it to place and on this side to break or I could just do one it doesn't matter so wait till this finishes and the longer that this uh, the more there are the longer it takes to do so is taking a while to do, isn't it? So from now on I'll be duplicating my all my all. I don't have to worry about using glass anymore. I did not realise it was this OP. Because you pick it up. Um, I wonder in the smell tree it does it. Hmm. If it's in the smell tree, it will be a lot better. So I should end up with two. Let's see. No, that's one to one ratio. So, oops. You. So we can make an iron button or dictionary storage module. I would not have a clue what that is. Um, one, yeah, we Promethean will give us two dust. Uh, two dust. Two dust. Uh, one to one. So this is 288, so this duplicates it because one ignit is 144. Um, a crusher, oh we can put it through the crusher. I forgot about that. So this is pretty much getting a something secondary. You don't want that. Don't even know what this does. Uh, yep, yep. So that can be done in the enrichment chamber. Uh, redstone furnace does one to one. Flux. Flux something or other. Oh, that's from the thermal expansion. Uh, two to two in the pulverizer from that. The tectonic indicator. Uh, uh, in, no, initi in initiator. I'm guessing that gives you three. Wow, that's pretty cool. They'll probably be quite difficult to make. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty easy. Just copper. So that's not too bad. Um, this gives you three in the induction smelter, but you need rich slag, slender bar, or, or sand, but yeah. Uh, magma crucible, that actually gives you two. Uh, so that's not too bad. So you can make a dedicated one, pump it out, pump that into a, um, what do you call it? Yeah, um, uh, what do you call it? The Tinkerous Smeltery Basin. So you can just pump that in there and it'll just keep making blocks and you can have a couple of them, just tubes. So yeah, you could do some wicked stuff with this. Uh, Starlight Infusion gives you three. But to make the Starlight you need a Celestial Altar and you need all this uh, set up. Um, that's the lens. I don't know how to use the Starlight lens just as yet. So uh, the Crusher will give me two plus 10% Nickel Grit, which actually is not too bad. And then back into the furnace. This gives me 288, so embers actually duplicates it as well, which is pretty cool. But you need uh, to make ember crystals, furnace, and then the crusher still gives you a chance as well. So there's quite a few directions which we could go. Um, the probably the easiest and best way to do it, I'm thinking of, is just straight into here for now. Or I can actually make a get to the magma crucible. Um, let's have a quick check. I want to see if this crusher gives me two. So this will double it. So the I think this will be the best bet with my iron as well. In here, in here, then out. So I think I might move uh, or make another set in here for my automation set. So see, that's given me out of my three, I've got six. So and and I've got a heap of iron ore. I know I've got a heap of iron all already, but oh, I oh know I want the stardust, don't I? I was trying to cook it. So I mean that will that will double my ore as it is. 
Um, I don't need any more Stardust, I'm fine with that. I'm hoping that I have more... Uh, no, not that. Oh, this, I have four. So that's four Palace Crystals. That's enough now to make um, my rolling machine. Because I need two per. Make to this one, see? Two per, and I need eight. Which the I can actually make a heap of these. And I have three, so I need another, like, five. So, let me just sort out my inventory quickly. Um, I don't want to keep crystals, uh, crystals, my diamonds in here. And, um, <laughs> see what I mean by this setup? It's just amazing. So, if you're following on and playing, or you've already been playing and you haven't done this, do it. It just makes blood gathering so much easier. And if you've done it already, congratulations. I shouldn't have sworn, but yes, congratulations. And that owl is amazing still. Um, I will keep these on me because I will end up making my stuff. I'll put that away. And as I said, I keep putting all this stuff away. And to my pick that has been with me for a while, I am sorry, but the void is calling your name. So... Since I didn't die, I have to sacrifice it something, and I sacrificed you. So now I need um, some apples. Well, where should I get some apples? So I'll do this. So um, I need five. There's five. I need nine. More of them. More of them. So I'll, I'll do exactly the amount that I want to do. Um, I need. Which I don't have. Um, I may need to cook up some more nether wart, which I do have one piece to even it out. So, but this should give me five. No, this will give me three blocks. Four blocks. So I need one more set of nether wart to finish this off to give me five. I need some more... Uh, that knife. Put this knife here. And this will give me eight. And I need... Hello, mate. I wonder if you can befriend them, because that'll be... Ah, oh, there he is. Hello. You can't get out through the glass, mate. Sorry. And we go... Four. Put them up there. That will give me some more. But I only want half of them. So this will give me some more mechanical users. I need some more blood orbs. Ah, and I sort of damn chest out. So put them away that there, put that there. So I need two more blood orbs. Hopefully that's what I've been cooking up. But I can't remember how many are left in there. None. Okay. So glass. I have glass. I have iron. And look at that. That's actually given me gold out of that. So that will give me gold without having to do any of the other stuff, which is amazing. So how many I wanted to? You know, I should just make a heap of them and put in there. So there we go. How are you going in here, mate? Yeah. Hey, hey, where'd you go, mate? Don't die on me. Oh, it's past wrapping up point in time, guys. Sorry, I was having way too much fun in doing this. Um, so, I thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe or give me a, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a like. I don't even know how. I always get confused on doing it. I just give up after a while. So, if you enjoy the videos, keep on watching. Show your friends, show your family, show your mum. All mums like me. Wink, wink. Um, but yeah, uh, I will see you in the next episode, so later.